<clears throat> Good morning and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this Friday, April 17th. It is Friday of Easter week. We're so glad that you joined us for morning prayer this morning. We invite you to follow along in a Book of Common Prayer. If you don't happen to have a Book of Common Prayer, please visit bcponline.org. It's a wonderful resource where you can follow along with not just today, but all of our worship services. Or just sit back this morning with your cup of coffee and allow the prayers to speak to you. And please, again, feel free to use the comment section of this video to uh, put in prayer requests, excuse me, or simply just to interact with one another. Uh, the comment section is a wonderful way to connect with one another in this time where we can't be with one another uh, physically. So now as we begin our time together in worship, let us pause for a few minutes to collect our thoughts and to recall the presence of Christ. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Christ our Passover. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And our psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 136, which is found on page 789 in the Book of Common Prayer. Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. Who only does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. Who by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his mercy endures forever, who created great lights, for his mercy endures forever, the sun to rule the day, for his mercy endures forever, the moon and stars to govern the night, for his mercy endures forever, who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, for his mercy endures forever. Who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever. And made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever, 
who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever, and slew mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Shion, king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever, and Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever, and gave away their lands for an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever, an inheritance for, his, for Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever, who remembered us in our low estate, for his mercy endures forever, and delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever, who gives food to all creatures, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Consecrate to me all the firstborn. Whatever is the first to open the womb among the people of Israel, both of man and of beast, is mine. And Moses said to the people, And when the Lord brings you to the land of the Canaanites, as he swore to you and your fathers, and shall give it to you, you shall set apart to the Lord all that first opens the womb. All the firstlings of your cattle that are male shall be the Lord's. Every firstling of an ass that you shall redeem with a lamb, or if you will not redeem it, you shall break its neck. Every firstborn of man among your sons you shall redeem. And when it is time to come, your son asks you, what does this mean? You shall say to him, by strength of hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt from the house of bondage. For when Pharaoh stubbornly refused to let us go, the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of cattle. Therefore, I sacrifice to the Lord all the males that first open the womb, but all the firstborn of my sons I redeem. It shall be as a mark on your hands or frontlets between your eyes, for by a strong hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 10 the second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts nor my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so it is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Lo, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable nature must put on the imperishable, and this mortal nature must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, 
death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Canticle 18, a song to the Lamb. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God, from every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. On the first day of the week, at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, and they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel, and as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and on the third day rise? And they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. 
and we shall never hope in vain. A collect for Friday and Easter week. Almighty Father, who gave your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification, give us grace so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Fridays. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. A prayer for mission. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And I invite your prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, and please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. <laughs> For our parish members and friends who are ill, infirm, or in need, including Samuel, Ben, Eleanor, Matthew, Roberta, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Pete, Kay, Pamela, Mary and Scott, Kate, Loretta, Leonard, May, Noah, Bridget, Harvey, Katie and Doug and their children, Bryce, Meredith and her family, Bill, Brooke, George, Nicholas, Jordan, Gladys, Nancy, Jean, for Christy, Pam, Kelly, Aaron, Alexandra, Jenny. For those we name with our lips or in our hearts, and for those whom have asked our prayers, but we cannot recall at this time. O oh God of compassion, giver of life and health. We pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken, relieve their pain, and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good, and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Watch over all first responders and all those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them, Lord Christ, from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our worship concludes this morning with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. 
and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. I wish you God's peace and a blessed day this day and invite you to join me tonight at 7 p.m. for evening prayer right here on our Facebook page. God's peace. Stay safe and stay healthy.